The Evolution of Library Instruction, How a Community College Library Provided Customized Instruction During the 2020 Pandemic Lockdown. Ivy Tech Community College is a two-year community college in Indiana, serving over 72,000 students in the 2019 to 2020 school year in a number of science, technology, health, and general studies fields. There are more than 40 locations, and this presentation looks at how the Bloomington campus provided customized instruction during the 2020 pandemic lockdown. Before the lockdown, the Ivy Tech Library in Bloomington regularly provided customized library instruction for instructors from a variety of fields. While the library had experience with pre-recorded videos, demand had not been high in recent years, and the librarians had not kept up to date on the available recording technologies. A sudden shift to pre-recorded classes. After the onset of the pandemic and subsequent move to virtual only instruction, the library had to adjust its methods. In the early days of March and April 2020, library instruction very quickly switched to pre-recorded classes performed in Zoom. Recordings were approximately one hour in length, just slightly shorter than a regular length class, and covered the same content as was normally provided in each class. Recordings were made for introductory and 200 level English classes, a kinesiology class, and an introduction to primary education class. Voice to text closed captionings were available in Zoom and were easily customizable once the librarian realized that transcription errors were common. Providing recordings in Zoom was convenient given the availability of the technology at Ivy Tech, and it gave the class instructors the flexibility to show the video during virtual class time or post the links in the online class modules for viewing at the student's leisure. Shifting to the short serial video format. Early experiments in Zoom recordings included a series of short recordings made for an introductory psychology class. Normally, the library instruction would last for two class sessions and would involve looking up research sources in the class textbook, popular magazines, and peer-reviewed journals, and then creating an account in the citation software Noodle Tools and creating an APA-style reference page for all citations. A 200-level psychology class by the same instructor would have involved researching sources in the textbook, peer-reviewed journals, and the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, 5th edition, then creating citations and noodle tools. The librarian realized that instead of two long sessions to cover all this research and citation software, much of it overlapping, a series of shorter videos would allow the librarian to cover the same material without overlapping content. The librarian made six videos, one on using the APA-style format template in Word, creating an account in Noodle Tools, citing a textbook, citing a peer-reviewed journal, citing the DSM-5, and finally, how to export sources from Noodle Tools. Benefits of the short serial video format. The benefits of breaking the class into multiple shorter segments include less overlap in recordings, saving the librarian preparation time. Students in both classes were able to choose the exact video they needed to cite any given source without sorting through an hour-long video and could return to that video multiple times as they worked on their project. This can be seen especially over the summer 2020 semester. The other videos in the series were viewed an average of four to six times, but the video on citing a journal article was accessed 11 times, almost double the rate of the other videos. Adoption of the short video serial format. In the summer and fall semesters of 2020, additional pre-recorded library sessions were created customized for instructors in fields such as history, anthropology, engineering, and nursing. These videos also followed the pattern of shorter video formats with the goal of being under five minutes. The library switched from Zoom as the recording platform to Screencast-O-Matic and eventually obtained a subscription to Screencast-O-Matic in order to improve editing capability and to shorten video times without cutting content. The library returned to live library instruction in the fall 2020 semester, 
either over Zoom or in person for the few weeks where students had returned to the classroom, and longer library instruction sessions were reserved for live classes either over Zoom or in person. However, the flexibility of the pre-recorded format continued to be useful for several instructors and the library has continued to offer them.